Do not buy it. Look what it did to my hair. You see this brim line going around? The black line, that's from the glue. It didn't lay my other wig down. I've tried it three, four times. Doesn't work. Waste of money, okay? I got this a while ago. Decided to give it another try. Waste of money. So now I'm going to get this glue off my hairline and we're going to jump right into the video. Okay, so boom. We're going to start off with the wig cap, y'all. My wig cap is really ripped. I have another one, but it's in the car. So when I got most of the glue off, so a little sticky right there. Okay, so the company sent me a 22 inch blonde synthetic wig, y'all. So this is how she's looking. Yeah, I tried to put some foundation or something on it to darken up the roots because I am dark skin, so I feel like it wouldn't look right. That's what the inside looks like. So I'm gonna put it on for y'all. Straps thing where? And it has four combs in it. <laughs> so. This is what she's looking like. Alright. So, boom. This is what she's looking like. As you would say. Let me fix this. Yeah, it's very dense. So that's really the main thing. But I'm about to semi install this. So yeah. down on it and I this thing is super duper thick like like root roots to tip is very very thick it look it feels like longer than 22 inches for one but here's my fabric fabric here's my hair razor so I'm just gonna go in and turn this out. All right, y'all. So I've been letting it sit or whatever. I attempted to thin that hair out. This is as much hair as I kind of got. So still got some work to do, but it's cool. I say that for a later day. So. This hair is kind of cute with the headband, no cap. But, um, okay. This is how the wig is looking. I matched it with a headband to kind of give it that like realer look to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I'm gonna take the headband off so y'all can see what it's really looking for. Put the headband down. Okay. Let me. Okay. Like, even though this is a synthetic wig, y'all, 
it honestly is not a bad wig if you wear synthetic wigs this is the wig for you or if you're looking for like a beginner wig or you just want to you want to test out to see what color looks like on you this is the wig to go for this wig is okay Okay, who says that dark skin women cannot wear wigs? And I try to put some, you know what I'm saying, you know, test it out, see what you like. And it's only powder foundation. And well, it was some highlight in there, I didn't know, but it's basically I put some foundation to kind of darken the roots to give it like a, okay, she's not just trying to throw no blonde wig on. She's like, you know what I'm saying? So experiment and I definitely will probably get me another blonde wig. And by the way, this came from ATOZ wig. And I'm gonna leave the link down below. They gave me a card, they gave me a, a weaving net and all of the above. So, yeah. They have, also have a synthetic non-lace wig, a two-tone wig. This is nature, afro natural hair texture, puffy and light. And then they have a, a Remy human hair wig. So I will probably try the Remy one next if I was to get another one from them. So, but this is still cute. I'm still loving it. Okay. I don't know y'all might cut this into a bob. I love cutting hair. So matter of fact, being that the ends is kind of messed up, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and it's very nice and long and full. Okay, we're back moving again, honey. Go ahead, sis. Go off, sis. But yeah, thank you, ATLZ Wig, for sending me this hair. And y'all, thanks for watching this video.